For lives martial soul, son of Chi Luck, malevolent three, not entering Shrek, through Doloa air, he became Hui Yuhao, the son of Chi Yun, but Yuhao discovered that he still possessed the power of the Golden Dragon King's bloodline in his body. From then on, Yuhao possessed four super martial souls. Spirit Eyes, Ice Blue Emperor Scorpion, Undead Holy Law God, and Golden Dragon King. The Golden Dragon King will merge into the Dragon God Martial Soul in the later stage, I have one more Hang than Hua, how can Tang San play with me? What? Let me join Shrek Academy, but you haven't given me the treatment of a core disciple yet. Damn it, you guys deserve it too. Tell him my identity. Standing in front of you is the Lord of Millions of Soul Beasts, the young master of the ontology sect, the Holy Spirit sect's Holy Son, the direct disciple of the Mingda Hall of the Sun and Moon Royal Soul Master Academy, and the first genius of the Doloa Continent's only four born martial souls. Watching you how holding the Dragon God Spear, awakening the Eternal Eye and possessing the four supreme deities, Tang San was shocked. This, this is impossible. How could he break my calculations? Humph, the Divine Realm is not owned by your Tang San Yi family. For personal gain, you calculated this and that, and even cut off your own daughter. It's fortunate that you can do it. Stop talking nonsense and go to hell, keywords of the novel. Dolua 2. For lives martial soul with no pop-ups, Dolua 2. For lives martial soul complete collection download, Dolua 2. For lives martial soul latest chapter reading. Chapter 1, Second Martial Soul. Golden Dragon King, New Book Seek Support, you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1, Second Martial Soul Golden Dragon King, New Book Seek Support, the Divine Realm, a dense forest resembling ancient ruins, is full of vitality, filled with the breath of life everywhere. But this is a forbidden land, only because there is a forbidden force that terrifies the gods. Under the control of the gods, this place has been quiet and peaceful for millions of years. But today, a terrifying force suddenly appears, as if another world has broken the plane barrier. The forces of the two worlds are constantly pulling, attracting, and repelling each other. This is the most powerful and terrifying force in the world, the turbulence of time and space. Perhaps sensing the power of time and space turbulence, the forbidden power sealed in the forbidden land suddenly awakened and began to roar and collide. In the past, with the power of He, it was absolutely impossible to break through the seals of several great divine kings. But due to the turbulent flow of time and space, the seal weakened, ultimately causing it to break open. Roar Accompanied by a roar of excitement and resentment, a terrifying dragon nearly a thousand feet long, covered in magnificent scales, rose into the sky. This is the terrifying existence that inherits the physical power of the dragon god, the golden dragon king with the highest divine power. His appearance will bring disaster to the entire divine realm. But before the golden dragon king could react, the turbulence of time and space directly attracted him, transforming him into a stream of light and entering an unknown plane. At the same time, in another part of the divine realm, a man dressed in a gorgeous blue robe, who was originally working hard in bed, suddenly stopped his waist movements, ignoring the dissatisfied expression of the beautiful woman beneath him. He angrily shouted, Who, who disrupted my plan? Tian Meng, Tian Meng, I'm here. On the path to the starry forest, a small and handsome young man was jogging with an uncontrollable excitement on his face. His name is Hui Yuhao, but he is not the real Hui Yuhao. Because the soul residing in this body comes from the blue star, named Yuhao. Although only one word is missing, their personalities are vastly different, and they also understand everything that happens in Doluo. Upon learning that he had traveled to become Doluo too, Yuhao, who had always been nervous, quickly accepted everything and was excited in his heart. He knows how his body will turn against the heavens, with a million-year soul ring, a three-life martial soul, and the ultimate ice countless, although it may be calculated by the pure and pure Tang God King in the later stage, it is different now. After becoming the owner of this body, 
Yu Hao will completely change his future destiny. He he, the pure and pure Tang God King, Ba. However, until he has the power to control everything, Yu Hao still needs to persevere and accept himself as the first to hang before making a decision. As he walked, Yu Hao arrived at a riverbank. According to the plot, he would meet Tangya, the leader of the Tang sect, and his senior brother Bei Bei. At their invitation, he would join the Tang sect and enter Shrek Academy. Ku Hao is here to change his fate, and of course he will not follow the original plot. Moreover, for the Shrek Academy that overthrew the Martial Soul Hall and replaced it himself, but only recruited talented students without giving any living opportunities to poor children, Yu Hao had no favorable impression. Who, my spiritual eyes and martial soul, whether placed in the ontology sect or the Sun Moon Royal Soul Mentor Academy, are definitely a coveted existence. However, Shrek Academy, as the first academy in the whole continent, believes that I have no potential. Yu Hao harbored resentment in his heart, but he remembered that Xuanzi, a 98-level Super Dolua, sneered at Lingma Wuhuan and had no intention of cultivating himself as a core disciple. Later, seeing that he had awakened his second martial soul and possessed the ultimate ice, the Ice Blue Scorpion reluctantly invited him back. It's really disgusting. Yu Hao did not stop by the river and continued walking towards the starry forest. Quickly, Yu Hao saw the wooden sign that marked the road sign of the starry forest, which made him very excited. Without hesitation, he quickened his pace. After half a day, Yu Hao finally entered the territory of the starry forest, and he could clearly feel that the air here had become different. While this excited him, he felt a bit uneasy in his heart. After all, there are many soul beasts in the star forest, and with Yu Hao's current strength, even if he encounters a century-old soul beast, he may not be a match. After thinking about it, Yu Hao summoned his soul power into his eyes, opened his martial soul, and held the white tiger dagger in his hand, muttering in his mouth. Tian Meng, come out quickly. At this moment, a black shadow suddenly flashed in front of him and rushed towards Yu Hao at an extremely fast speed. Wind Baboon Yu Hao accepted the memory of the original owner and immediately identified what soul beast it was. This made Yu Hao's expression a bit subtle. He didn't expect to come to the star forest early and still encounter this soul beast. At the same time, I was also a bit excited because it indicated that Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was also nearby. The wind baboon rushed towards Rain Hao, its sharp claws emitting a fierce light. To be honest, Yu Hao was still a bit nervous, but surprisingly, his speed was not slow. He dodged the attack of the wind baboon on his side, and then the white tiger dagger plunged into the wind baboon's shoulder. Originally, Yu Hao wanted to tie his neck, but during the first battle, he was clearly not very skilled. Shit! The white tiger dagger was incredibly sharp and pierced through the shoulder of the wind baboon, causing the latter to let out a roar and want to attack again. However, Rain Hao was also stimulated with ferocity, and his legs exerted force, crushing the wind baboon directly to the ground. If we were to replace it with the previous Hui Yu Hao, we would definitely not be able to achieve this. This is because Yu Hao himself also has secrets. The wind baboon was also very surprised. It did not expect that the small and skinny human in front of it could unleash such a powerful force. But Yu Hao didn't talk nonsense to it. He drew out the white tiger dagger and directly wiped off this guy's neck. Ha, huh, after seeing the soul ring floating out of the wind baboon's body, Yu Hao took a deep breath, but before he could rest, a sound appeared in his mind without warning. Finally, I met a human with a spiritual attribute. Unfortunately, I can't shed tears, otherwise I would have shed tears all over my face. With the same tone and words, Yu Hao's face showed a hint of surprise. Click. In the next moment, the ground trembled, forming cracks. A round, fleshy, and over seven meters long white bug emerged, with ten bright golden stripes on its body. Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm. Ha! Huh. The little one is not afraid, is he attracted by brother's beautiful body? T 
Tian Meng Ai's silkworm didn't expect that the little guy in front of him didn't have a surprised expression on his face, but instead showed a joyful smile. You, what kind of soul beast are you? Yu Hao was pleasantly surprised in his heart, but on the surface, he still had to pretend to be afraid. Seeing this, Tian Meng Ai's silkworm finally calmed down. Don't be afraid, I won't harm you, and I will also become your soul ring, the first intelligent soul ring in the history of Dolua continent. The matter should not be delayed. Brother is about to start. Don't worry, I will take it lightly. The nonsensical words that were no different from the original work, accompanied by an extremely cold breath, pushed the plump head of Tian Meng Ice Silkworm against his forehead. At this moment, Yu Hao had no panic, only endless joy, and even because of this emotion, he did not faint. The heavenly dream ice silkworm has now turned into a white halo, merging into Yu Hao's body along with the golden stripes. Too weak, too weak. Hmm. This is. Yu Hao's body was extremely weak, and due to the mutation of his martial soul, his meridians were blocked, which made the heavenly dream ice silkworm lament. However, at this moment, it felt an incredibly powerful, brutal, and terrifying force deep within Yu Hao's body even its million-year soul power could not match it. In a daze, Tian Meng Ice Silkworm saw a golden dragon covered in golden scales, taller than a mountain and wider than the sea, which could easily change the color of heaven and earth. What is this? A soul beast or a deity? Even the heavenly dream Ice Silkworm, the first million-year-old soul beast on the mainland, was shocked at this moment. You can understand it as my second martial soul. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Million Year Soul Ring, Golden Soul Ring You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Million Year Soul Ring, Golden Soul Ring, You can understand it as my second martial soul. The voice of Yu Hao suddenly rang out. After crossing over to his original body, Yu Hao felt the terrifying power hidden within him, which turned out to be the Golden Dragon King with the body of a dragon god. The bloodline of the Golden Dragon King, who was originally supposed to host Tang Wulin, is now grafted onto himself. After this discovery shocked Yu Hao, he fell into ecstasy. He knew how powerful the Golden Dragon King was, and during his heyday, he was no weaker than the pure and pure Tang God King. It was precisely because of the existence of the Golden Dragon King that Yu Hao had the capital to confront the Tang God King. Twin Martial Souls I didn't expect my brother to be so lucky and find a genius for twin martial souls. If you add me, the god creation plan will definitely succeed. The heavenly dream ice silkworm was also extremely happy. After waiting for countless years, it finally arrived at a human with spiritual attributes, and it was also a twin martial soul. Hmm. You kid didn't even faint. Tian Meng Ai's silkworm regained her senses and spoke in a somewhat surprised tone. With its powerful spiritual power accumulated over millions of years, theoretically speaking, Yu Hao, who has not yet become a soul master, should fall into a coma in an instant. But now, not only is he not unconscious, but he is also able to communicate with himself. Yu Hao doesn't know how to explain this. After discovering the power of the Golden Dragon King hidden within his body, his body has greatly strengthened compared to his original body, which is also why he was able to defeat the Wind Baboon. But the spiritual power has also increased significantly, and Yu Hao speculates that this should be the result of the fusion of two souls. Fortunately, Tian Meng Ice Silkworm didn't care, after all, the stronger Yu Hao's strength, the better he treated him. During the spiritual exchange of one person, one silkworm, fusion continues. But at this moment, as if it were a bolt from the blue, a thunderbolt sounded in the air, and in an instant, a powerful pressure that changed the color of life in the world fell from the sky, like an instant. Then it turned into a gray airflow and rushed straight into Yu Hao's mind, disappearing in an instant. Holding the sun, moon, and stars, there is no one like me in the world. I never expected that there is still a trace of my soul left. Upon hearing this old voice, Yu Hao was extremely excited, and his second hang arrived. Undead Scourge, Alex. 
At its peak, it had already reached the level of a deity. If it weren't for jealousy and fear of Huiyuhao surpassing it, it would have forcibly wiped out Old E. With his own potential and the help of Ilao, Huiyuhao may be able to create his own divine king position and overturn Tang Sanyi's control over the divine realm. But now, if it were Yu Hao, he would never let such a thing happen. Yu Hao knows the origin of Ilao, but Tianmeng Ice Silkworm doesn't know it. It is now imposing. Dare to compete with my brother for anything. Then he urged his spiritual power to drive out the grey power that had already turned into a bean size, which was boarding in Yu Hao's mind. No matter how it is, the grey power remains steadfast. It's really unlucky to encounter someone who snatches people. Is it possible that the heavens are jealous of brother's talent? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm eventually gave up and fully integrated all its strength into Yu Hao's body. At the same time, Yu Hao found himself in a somewhat dreamy golden ocean, with ten huge golden white light balls and a grey spherical object floating above. Is this the sea of spirit? Yu Hao couldn't help but say. Hmm. You actually know the Sea of Spirit. The voice of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm suddenly sounded, filled with surprise. Yu Hao let slip his tongue, but he didn't panic at all. Instead, he said, Are you the big bug just now? What big bug? Brother is the Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm, the only million year old soul beast in Dolua continent. Please call me Hui Yu Hao, and in the future, Call me Heavenly Dream Brother. Okay, Brother Tianmeng. Yu Hao immediately changed his mind. He knew that Tianmeng Ice Silkworm would not have any ill intentions towards him, and now the two are one. For Yu Hao to accept so quickly, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was a bit stunned, but it happened to save her some time talking. Zio Yu Hao, Brother has now become your soul ring, and our destinies will also be connected. Do you want to know brother's story? Think about it. Although Yu Hao knows the origin of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm, he still needs to listen once. I was originally just one. Subsequently, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm revealed his origins, how to break through millions of years, and the power of the golden light ball to Yu Hao. Overall, there is no difference from what Yu Hao knows. Yu Hao, when you become stronger, you must kill those guys who absorb my power and turn them all into soul rings, soul bones, and your twin martial souls, no, three martial souls. With your brother, you can definitely become the strongest existence in Dolua continent. Listening to Tianmeng Ice Silkworm's angry words, Yu Hao nodded heavily, but his goal was not just to become the strongest presence in Dolua continent. At the moment when the heavenly dream ice silkworm integrated into Yu Hao's spiritual world and the first wisdom soul ring of Dolua continent was born, a terrifying force from his bloodline swept through Yu Hao's entire body. This forced Yu Hao to retreat from his spiritual world, and he only had one feeling at the moment, which was heat, as if he had a volcano erupting inside him. Zio Yu Hao, what's wrong with you? I just merged with you, you shouldn't just be so silly. The voice of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was somewhat panicked, even with a hint of crying. No, it's okay, Heavenly Dream Brother. He's my second martial soul. Hui Yu Hao did not faint due to his extraordinary spiritual power. Although he did not know why the power of the Golden Dragon King was within him, Yu Hao could feel that it was sealed by a powerful force, just like Tang Wulin from Dolua Third Middle School, but not 18, but 9. Whenever Yu Hao's soul power level reaches a bottleneck and he obtains a soul ring, a seal will be opened. Now the first seal has been opened, and the power of the Golden Dragon King washes away every inch of Rain Hao's body, including his skin, muscles, blood, and even bone marrow, causing him endless pain. But similarly, it also made his physical body quickly become stronger. The Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm can naturally feel it, and it is extremely surprised. Even after feeling a hint of the power of the Golden Dragon King, its spirit becomes trembling. What kind of martial soul is this? Sai, Yu Hao's physical strength has been raised so high. The Soul Ring brings not only a soul skill to the Soul Master, but also an increase in physical strength. 
And the older the soul ring, the higher the increase in physical strength it brings. At this moment, the strength of Yu Hao's physical body has increased, no less than the improvement brought by the 100,000 year soul ring. Ah! Yu Hao looked up at the sky and roared, his black eyes turning into crimson gold at this moment, and even into erect pupils like snake pupils, looking extremely terrifying. Not only that, Yu Hao's right arm seemed to bear a hundred times the weight, suddenly falling down, his skin cracked, and layers of scales shimmering with golden light quietly appeared. After the golden dragon scales covered the entire arm, with a puff sound, Yu Hao's right arm instantly expanded several times, becoming even larger than his entire body. At the same time, his five fingers cracked open, and the hard and sharp dragon claws protruded, shining with a heart-wrenching light, as if indicating that it had come to this world. At this moment, Yu Hao's entire right arm had completely turned into a golden dragon claw, and the terrifying power emanating from it made Tianmeng Ice Silkworm feel very palpitated. Is it a mutated martial soul of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm knows that there is a top dot level beast soul in the martial soul, the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex. Every time an additional soul ring is added, the body parts will transform into dragons. Even if it's a mutated martial soul, it can't be so powerful, can it? The heavenly dream ice silkworm shook its little head, and everything that happened in front of it was beyond its understanding. But the scene that followed directly shocked its chin, although it did not mention the chin. A golden soul ring, emitting endless divine radiance, slowly emerged and lingered on Rain Howe's right arm. End of this chapter Chapter 3, Lord, Remake the Glory of Soul Beasts You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3, Lord, Remake the Glory of Soul Beasts, Soul, Soul Ring Tianmeng Ice Silkworm is confused. How could there be a martial soul with its own soul ring? At the same time, the moment the golden soul ring appeared, a momentum from ancient times, enveloped in endless pressure, spread out from the center of the rain and spread out towards the surroundings. The momentum was overwhelming, like a tidal wave, blowing leaves for a hundred miles and making rustling sounds. Roar, the power of the golden dragon king, hidden within his body, utilizes Yu Hao's body to emit a long and deep dragon chant, spreading for several kilometers. At this moment, the starry forest, the beast zone. Huge black shadows were awakened one by one, looking up at the sky. Upon closer inspection, the eyes of these super soul beasts that have been around for hundreds of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years were filled with a look of fear. In the central area of the Forbidden City, a burly, nearly three dot meter dot high blonde man showed an excited expression on his face upon hearing this dragon chant, and even his blood began to boil inside. Yes, it's the Lord. The Lord has returned. This blonde haired man is the leader of the top ten ferocious beasts, the king of a million soul beasts in the Star Do Forest, the golden eyed black dragon king with a history of 890,000 years, Emperor Tian. After feeling the power of the golden dragon king, Emperor Tianjin couldn't bear it anymore and flew towards the place where the dragon chanted. On this side, Yu Hao finally received all the power from the first seal of the Golden Dragon King, but because he did not fully grasp it, the huge Golden Dragon arm could not be retracted. Although enduring endless pain, even to the point of death, Yu Hao's expression at the moment was happy because he now fully confirmed that the power hidden within him was the Golden Dragon King. Imagining waiting for himself to fully integrate and absorb the power of the Golden Dragon King, and then violently attack Tang San, Yu Hao felt extremely excited in his heart. But before he could be happy for too long, the panicked voice of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm suddenly rang out. Yu Hao, hurry up, run. There's a terrifying guy coming. The tone was mixed with panic, as it recognized that the owner of this aura was the most terrifying presence in the starry forest. Yu Hao was stunned for a moment, inexplicably looking towards the direction deep in the starry forest, and then his face changed dramatically. The distant sky has been soaked in a dark atmosphere, like dark clouds covering the earth, giving people a sense of powerlessness in the face of natural disasters. Roar! 
A faint dragon cry echoed through the sky and earth, and before Yu Hao could react, it turned into a black stream of light rushing towards him. It was the previous blonde man, Emperor Tian. When Emperor Tian saw Yu Hao, his expression was excited, especially when he saw the golden dragon's right arm, which symbolized the dragon god. He knelt down directly on the ground, buried his head deeply, and said in a tearful voice. Congratulations to the Lord for your return. To be honest, combined with this person's appearance and the dark aura of stealing the sky and changing the sun, Yu Hao has confirmed that he is the king of the star forest and the emperor of the top ten ferocious beasts. At that time, he only felt that he was ruined. Although he was full of talent, he just accepted two cheats, but now how could it possibly compete with the strongest of the Dolua continent at this stage? But the emperor's next sentence, Lord, left Yu Hao stunned. It's over, it's over. Brother's insect infestation is just over. The heavenly dream ice silkworm didn't even listen to Emperor Tian's words, and now it only feels like it has nothing to love. But it was precisely because of the spiritual fluctuations it emitted when speaking that it immediately caught the attention of Emperor Tian. Bastard. Get out of the master's spiritual world. The emperor let out a shout of anger, and the terrifying dark aura turned into a towering dragon. Under the pressure of Zhao Zhao, he wanted to drive the heavenly dream ice silkworm out of the vast sea of spirit. But at this moment, there was another burst of excitement. Bold. It was Yu Hao who made this sound. At this moment, he had stood up from the ground and stimulated the power of the golden dragon king in his body, causing his golden dragon arms to emit a unique aura belonging to the golden dragon king. His black eyes had also turned into golden pupils, like real dragon eyes, noble and terrifying. Feeling the pure and pure power that ignited his own bloodline, Emperor Tian forcibly stopped attacking, and the backlash made him let out a muffled groan. But his face was filled with excitement, admiration, and even infatuation. Damn it, my subordinate. Seeing Emperor Tian kneeling down again, Yu Hao's face remained calm, as if a dragon god had descended, observing his own people. But in reality, he was so scared in his heart that he kept hinting at himself. Steady, steady, we must be steady. Yu Hao, what's going on? The voice of the heavenly dream ice silkworm also sounded. It thought it was finished just now, but how could Rain Hao's words make the strongest soul beast in the continent kneel before its eyes? Tian Meng, I'll explain to you after it's over. Yu Hao only had time to reply with one sentence, and now he needs to pretend to be forced down. Turning his head to look at Emperor Tian, Rain Hao walked step by step to him. Although the former was kneeling, his height was still about the same as Rain Hao. But Yu Hao was staring at him with a condescending gaze. I am the Golden Dragon King. Master. Feeling the pressure of the superior dragon clan bloodline, the Emperor's divine emotions were passionate. He learned from the mouth of the Silver Dragon King that the Golden Dragon King had been sealed in a forbidden land. Although he did not know what method the Master used to break through the seal of the forbidden land, he was immensely certain from this thick and ultimate bloodline power that this was the Golden Dragon King who inherited the physical body of the dragon god and was on par with the silver dragon king. Lord, have you broken the seal and returned? Did you sense that our spirit beasts are weak and want to lead us to counterattack humanity? Yu Hao had long known that Emperor Tian's dream was to make soul beasts no longer oppressed by humans and become the masters of Dolua continent again. Hee <laughs> hee, it's extremely foolish. Yu Hao has already gone all out. Since he wants to pretend, he should pretend thoroughly. If the heavenly dream ice silkworm, hidden in his spiritual sea, had an excretory organ, hearing this would definitely have scared him to pee. However, Emperor Tian had no dissatisfaction at all, and instead had a joyful expression on his face. Yes, my subordinate is foolish. Whatever the master says, that's what it is. Do you really think that the enemy of our soul beasts is humans? Upon hearing these words, Emperor Tian felt a bit confused. My subordinate is dull. Since the fall of the dragon god, 
the divine realm has been controlled by that group of gods, who have set rules that never allow soul beasts to become gods. This is also why for millions of years, no soul beast has become a god. Upon hearing this, Emperor Tian's pupils suddenly shrank, but he said, 10,000 years ago, 200,000 year old soul beasts in the starry forest. What he is talking about naturally is the sky blue bull python and titan ape. Since joining Tang San, he has naturally become a god. But this also drew a sneer from Yu Hao, saying, their owner Tang San is the controller of the divine realm. Isn't the rule changed just by saying so? Simply put, rules are set by oneself for others, and one's own people naturally do not need to follow them. It's just a double standard dog. Otherwise, with your talent far exceeding those two soul beasts, shouldn't you have become a god long ago? Emperor Tian suddenly appeared, and immediately felt an endless anger towards Tang Sanxing, who was a double standard. Yu Hao could naturally feel the emotional changes of Emperor Tian and took advantage of the heat to hit the railway. So our enemies are not humans, they should be those self-righteous gods. Moreover, now my body is human. Do you want to be enemies with me? Yu Hao looked straight at Emperor Tian, although his breath was insignificant, he just made Emperor Tian lower his head and mutter in unison. I dare not. Seeing the appearance of Emperor Tian, Yu Hao felt happy in his heart because he now confirmed that this guy should have been intimidated by himself. You know, this is the heavenly god of beasts. Being able to intimidate him is equivalent to becoming the co-owner of soul beasts. Imagine the power of the soul beasts in Dolua continent. If they were to gather together, whether it was Shrek Academy, Sun and Moon Empire, or other forces, they would not be able to compete with them alone. Yu Hao's heart trembled and he was excited. In fact, Yu Hao doesn't need to be like this at all. He, who inherited all the power of the Golden Dragon King, was originally the master of this soul beast. My return is to overthrow those selfish and extremely selfish divine kings who want to transfer all treasures to their family's rule, and to redefine the rule so that soul beasts can become gods just like humans. This is not contradictory to Yu Hao's original idea, and he, who possesses the four lives martial soul and inherits the title of hanging force from his original body, is also confident that he can achieve it. If combined with the help of soul beasts, it would be even more foolproof. And Emperor Tian was already intimidated by Yu Hao's magnificent words, overthrowing the rule of the Divine King. Yes, this is the Lord. The humans in Dolua continent are not worthy of being his opponents. Emperor Tian was excited in his heart and quickly expressed his sincerity. I will definitely do my best to assist the Lord in killing the gods. It's done. Yu Hao's eyes sparkled with precision, and his surface remained calm. He said lightly, Take me over there, I feel the breath of silver. Yes, my lord. Emperor Tian will certainly not refuse Yu Hao's orders. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Xiong Junchen's Clothing, New Book for Collection, You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Xiong Junchen's Clothing New book for collection, in the starry forest, a towering black dragon soars in the sky, and the unique aura of the beast god forces millions of soul beasts in the forest to dare not speak, only bowing their heads. But on the head of the black dragon stood a young man with black hair and golden pupils. The youth is none other than Yu Hao. At this moment, his expression was indifferent, his gaze looked down, and he stood proudly on the head of the emperor's body with a strong demeanor. But in the sea of spirit, it started a quarrel. Zio Yuheo, are you a human or a soul beast? Why would Emperor Tian obey your orders? Tian Meng Ice Silkworm was confused. She thought she had found a commoner boy, but who knew that she had such a big background? Now she is riding directly on the head of the top ten ferocious beasts, Emperor Tian. Of course I am human. The reason why this emperor obeyed my orders is probably because of my second martial soul. You should also know that my second martial soul is somewhat extraordinary. Upon hearing these words, T 
Tianmeng Ice Silkworm remained silent. This was not just extraordinary, it was simply unbelievable. Not only is the martial soul itself unparalleled in strength, but it can also condense soul rings on its own, and it is a golden soul ring that enhances the strength of the physical body even more than a hundred thousand year soul ring. And just now, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm explored the source of spiritual power and found that the golden dragon, martial soul, was not driven by soul power, but by the qi and blood power of Rain Hao himself. To put it another way, this may not be a martial soul, but the essence of Rain Hao. This is not simple. As we all know, in general, even twin martial souls cannot use two types of martial souls at the same time. But now this, golden dragon, martial soul is triggered by the power of Rain Hao's qi and blood, which can simultaneously use the power of two types of martial souls. This is not simply 1 plus 1 equals 2, but much greater than 2. Taking Yu Hao's spirit eyes as an example, the spiritual attribute of the main body martial soul is skilled in spiritual attacks and control, and is definitely one of the top martial souls. However, if it is compared to melee abilities or physical strength, it will definitely not be able to compete with melee martial souls such as Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex. But if we add the Golden Dragon King, it will be different. That's why Tianmeng Ice Silkworm asked you how whether he was a human or a soul beast. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm couldn't figure it out, so she decided not to. Yu Hao, I can't figure it out, but now that I am integrated with you, I naturally hope you become stronger and better. Tianmeng, don't worry, I won't let you down. During the spiritual exchange of one person, one Silkworm, Emperor Tian had already landed in the core circle of the Starry Forest, which was a forbidden place that humans could not venture into. When Emperor Tian returned, Terrifying beings raised their heads and gazed through countless trees towards this place. And what shocked these gazes was that their leader, Emperor Tian, had actually lowered his head to the ground, showing a humble bow, and then a human slowly walked down from his head. Obviously, Emperor Tian was used as a mount. How could this be possible? The emperor's body is the golden-eyed black dragon king, and even the gods cannot let his proud head be lowered. However, now a weak human has turned him into a mount. This surprised and angered the owners of the gaze, as the emperor is a superior existence above them. This human stepping on the emperor's head is stepping on the heads of all their soul beasts. Roar A giant bear over 15 meters long, covered in a thick layer of dark golden hair, suddenly appeared in front of Yu Hao. It had a pair of arms that were 10 meters long, with muscles built up on top, resembling a small mountain. The sixth of the top ten ferocious beasts, Xiong Jun. Even without Tianmeng Ice Silkworm's reminder, Rain Hao recognized it himself. Emperor Tian. You have made a human stand on your head. You are insulting a million soul beasts in the Star Forest. Hurry up and let me kill him. Xiong Jun roared loudly, his fierce momentum spreading around him, and then turning into an endless gust of wind, rolling up rocks and giant trees and blowing towards the rain. Bold. Emperor Tian angrily let out a shout, and the strong and extremely dark aura firmly protected Yu Hao from any harm. Xiong Jun, if you dare to take action against the master, I will definitely kill you today. In the heart of Emperor Tian, Yu Hao is not only his master, but also the hope of recasting the glory of soul beasts and breaking the blockade of gods. Even his own life is not as important as Yu Hao. Watching Emperor Tian, who had a strong killing intent and was about to take shape, Xiong Jun's heart trembled. He understood that Emperor Tian was really going to kill him. You should know that even if you have hurt him before, the latter has not shown such terrifying killing intent. Emperor Tian, stop it. Accompanied by a light and ethereal voice, a woman dressed in green neon clothes, as beautiful as a fairy, fell from the sky. She was the fourth ranked among the top ten ferocious beasts, the 580,000-year-old Jade Swan and the Bee Gee. Behind her was a three-headed red giant dog, a young man with a seductive face, and a beautiful woman in purple attire. They are Red King, Demon Spirit, and Purple Concubine, 
all of which are among the top ten ferocious beasts. It can be said that all the strongest and most horizontal beings in the entire starry forest have appeared here. They also didn't expect that Emperor Tian really wanted to kill Xiong Jun, and it was for the sake of a human. Even though the three fierce beasts gathered together, Emperor Tian still did not disperse his killing intent. As he was about to take action, a indifferent voice sounded. Step back now. Even the three fierce beasts could not stop Emperor Tian. Upon hearing this sound, he immediately dissipated his killing intent and transformed into a human form, standing solemnly behind a young man. Master. Master. Upon hearing the emperor's address to the young man, soul beasts such as Biji and Xiong Jun all showed a shocked expression, their eyes fixed on the young man. In order to intimidate this group of super soul beasts that have been around for hundreds of thousands of years, Yu Hao vigorously stirred up the power of the golden dragon king inside his body, and then gathered in his eyes, while also stimulating his spiritual eyes. Stunned, the golden color mixed with a deep blue halo, exuding a domineering and noble aura exclusively belonging to the master of soul beasts, made all the super soul beasts present look sideways, and then lowered their heads, afraid to look at them. The Lord has returned from the divine realm, what are you still doing? Kneel down. Emperor Tian replaced Yu Hao with a shout of applause. Although I still don't know Yu Hao's true identity, there is a voice in my bloodline telling them that the boy in front of me is the master of their soul beasts. The four super soul beasts led by Biji, whether they were soul beasts or humans, all knelt down on one knee towards Yu Hao. And Yu Hao looked at the unbelievable Xiong Jun. Although there was a big difference in body size between the two sides, Yu Hao could only look up at Xiong Jun. However, due to the power of the Golden Dragon King, Xiong Jun had a feeling of looking up. Although the Dark Gold Claw Bear is not part of the Dragon Clan, it belongs to the Soul Beast of the Power Clan. And what the Golden Dragon King inherits is the physical body of the Dragon God, mastering the ultimate strength and speed, as well as unparalleled physical body. So the suppression of the Dark Gold Claw Bear is no less than that of the Golden Eye Black Dragon King. I don't like to look up at others. Yu Hao spoke calmly, but before Xiong Jun could react, the Emperor Tian behind him suddenly appeared behind Xiong Jun's head. At the same time, his right arm turned into a huge and ferocious dragon claw, grabbing Xiong Jun's head and smashing it towards the ground. With a loud bang, smoke and dust rose everywhere, and Emperor Tian smashed Xiong Jun's head into the earth. The terrifying power was unleashed, and several ten-meter-deep ravines were opened up on the ground. It is evident how powerful the claws of Emperor Tian are. But Xiong Jun dared not resist at all. Endless fear appeared in the eyes of the two bears, but this fear was not aimed at Emperor Tian. Although Emperor Tian is stronger than him, Xiong Jun is not afraid, otherwise he would not jump out to confront him. The source of fear in his eyes was actually due to the weak human in front of him. He could clearly perceive the power hidden within the latter's body. It was a golden dragon soul beast, but it surpassed all soul beasts for 100,000 years and reached the level of a deity. Emperor Tian is known as the beast god, but it is just a compliment. But for the young man in front of me, it is a description. This is the deity of their soul beasts. Lord, Lord. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Three Eyed Golden Lion, Soul Beast Co. Lord, you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Three Eyed Golden Lion, Soul Beast Co. Lord, looking at Xiong Jun, who was also kneeling in front of him, Yu Hao breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, sighing inwardly that his power as the Golden Dragon King was really useful, and he also fooled a super soul beast. Let's all get up. Yu Hao's indifferent voice rang out again, and a group of soul beasts stood up one after another, but their eyes remained fixed on the ground, afraid to meet them. Among them, Xiong Jun, who had just killed Yu Hao, was the most humble and wished he could bury his head in his chest. I came back for the future of the soul beast, which is of great significance. Please don't leak any information later. Yes, my lord. 
Biji, Xiong Jun and other soul beasts all responded. Yu Hao nodded slightly and waved his hand, wanting to scatter the group of soul beasts. After all, facing such a group of soul beasts that had lived for hundreds of thousands of years, his pressure was still great. But at this moment, Yu Hao's corner of the eye caught a glimpse of the golden figure behind the Red King. Emperor Lucky Beast, Three-Eyed Golden Lion Yu Hao knew that the three-eyed golden dragon possessed the power of fate from the starry forest, which made the pure and pure Tang God King very tempted. Therefore, he later sealed a trace of his daughter's divine power on the three-eyed golden dragon, hoping to transfer this power of fate to his own home. And this also led to the death of the three-eyed golden dragon, as well as the torment suffered by Yu Hao Yuan. Of course, Yu Hao will not let Tang San succeed. Why not connect with the three-eyed golden dragon attribute now, after all, Wang Dong is not here now. Yu Hao touched his chin and looked at the golden dragon with burning eyes. And the three-eyed golden dragon didn't know what Yu Hao was thinking, but looking at his golden pupils, the pressure she endured in her bloodline was greater than that of all soul beasts. Because the three-eyed golden dragon possesses the bloodline of the golden dragon within its body, and the golden dragon directly inherits the golden dragon king. The power of fate of the three-eyed golden dragon is something that Rain Hao must obtain, not only because it can awaken the eye of destiny, but also because it is a disaster for the three-eyed golden dragon itself. After a slight thought, Yu Hao finally gave up the idea of accepting the power of fate now. At present, his strength is weak and he has not yet obtained the gold of life and the second sea of understanding. At the same time, because he is the son of the Qi Luck of Dolua continent, the three-eyed golden lion has the Qi Luck of countless soul beasts in the Star Do forest. The fusion of these two different Qi Luck will definitely attract Tang San's covet. Although there are regulations in the divine realm that prohibit interference in the mortal world, who is the Tang Divine King? He serves as a benchmark, and you how dare not bet on his shamelessness. Rain Hao slowly walked towards the three-eyed golden dragon, and Emperor Tian was a bit worried, but in the end, he didn't say anything. Three-eyed golden dragon, you have encountered a calamity upon hitting. When the time is ripe, I will help you resolve this difficulty. Although he won't draw the power of fate now, Rain Hao can plant seeds here with the three-eyed golden dragon first. Thank you, Lord Xie. The three-eyed golden dragon emitted a light and agile sound. Emperor Tian, please protect the three-eyed golden lion from any harm. Yu Hao once again instructed Emperor Tian. Please rest assured, Lord. I will definitely protect the auspicious beast. The emperor's voice was unusually firm, yet he was also very happy. He knew that the emperor's auspicious beast had hit a disaster, and now he heard that the lord would resolve it. Of course, he was very happy. After all, the position of the three-eyed golden lion in his heart is similar to that of his daughter. Yu Hao's gaze shifted away from the three-eyed golden dragon and then turned to Emperor Tian and the other super soul beasts, speaking loudly. From now on, I will wholeheartedly cultivate and strive to break through into a god as soon as possible, breaking the divine punishment imposed by soul beasts for millions of years. Would you be willing to help me? I am willing to do my best. Several super creatures led by Emperor Tian knelt down on one knee and pledged allegiance to Yu Hao. Upon seeing this, Yu Hao was very satisfied and then waved his hand to let it go. After all the soul beasts left, Yu Hao could no longer hold on, his whole body was like a deflated balloon, instantly limping to the ground, and his entire back was soaked in cold sweat. It's not an easy task to act forced in front of a group of super big shots. Oh my god, brother Tian Meng, are you still there? Rain Hao calls for the heavenly dream ice silkworm in the sea of spirit. At this moment, Tian Meng ice silkworm and Yu Hao are no different, after all, each of the soul beasts that just appeared here is an existence that can be easily grasped. Xiao, Zio Yu Hao, you are really bold. Do you know how terrifying those guys were just now? Of course I know, but in that situation just now, if I didn't do it, I'm afraid we wouldn't have a way out. 
As he spoke, Yu Hao's voice changed and he said. And in this way, all the soul beasts in the starry forest can be used by me, which should accelerate my cultivation. Upon hearing these words, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm remained silent for a long time before speaking. Yu Hao, then you underestimate the star forest too much. If the super soul beasts led by Emperor Tian truly submit to you, then I can say that you will definitely become a god. The Star Dou Forest is one of the three major gathering points for soul beasts in the Dolua continent. Here, there are not only countless powerful soul beasts, but also countless precious resources. Thinking of this, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was a bit excited. It didn't expect that the person it had chosen would become the master of the soul beast in the Star Dou Forest. This makes it marvel at how lucky it is. On Yu Hao's side, he never doubted his own becoming a god, after all, his original body was the son of Dolua Continent's luck. If it weren't for Tang San's intervention, his original body's achievements would not have been just a first-level god. And now that he has become Yu Hao, of course he will not repeat the same mistake. Heavenly Dream Brother, you don't have to worry about Emperor Tian and them. I can feel that they won't refuse any of my orders. This is not Yu Hao's illusion, but the power of the Golden Dragon King inside his body tells him that he is the Soul Beast co-owner who surpasses the Emperor and other Super Soul Beasts. Since that's the case, there's no need to be polite to these guys. Let them bring all the precious treasures from the Star Do Forest. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was a bit excited. Strive to make you break through level 20 as soon as possible, so that we can shape the Ice Martial Soul that Brother has given you. Good heavenly dream brother, but what do you think I need the most now? Yu Hao is also very excited. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm thought for a moment and said, Your body has been enhanced several times because of the Golden Dragon Martial Soul, which can autonomously attach soul rings. It is almost equivalent to the level of a level 30 soul master. Such strength can allow you to absorb many powerful medicinal materials and treasures. And what you need most now should be a treasure that can change your qualifications, after all, your cultivation qualifications are still too poor. Yu Hao's innate soul power is level 1, and most of his internal meridians are blocked, making it difficult for him to cultivate in several times slower than others. The power of the Golden Dragon King has not changed this either. Yu Hao also understood this, but he was not worried. There were many treasures to enhance his qualifications, such as Xian Shui Dan, Shi Sui Han Ling Yi, and more, as well as heavenly and earthly treasures such as Flame Apricot Fragrance and Strange Rong Tong Tian Chrysanthemum. I understand. Yu Hao responded and prepared to have Emperor Tian collect treasures from the Starry Forest for him. End of this chapter Chapter 6 The Story of the Starry Forest, Don't Keep Books, Thank You you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 The Story of the Starry Forest, Don't Keep Books, Thank You, Looking at the Earth in front of him, either emitting a strange medicinal fragrance or overflowing with light, a rare treasure that others may never receive in their lifetime, Yu Hao remained calm on the surface, but his heart had already bloomed with joy. Similarly happy to bloom, there is also the heavenly dream ice silkworm. Thousand-year-old Beijing grass, nourishes qi and cultivates vitality, washes marrow and cuts bones. This plant has at least 7,000 years of fire, making it a precious treasure. Refining it can remove impurities from meridians and bone marrow, increase innate soul power by one level, and also enhance essence. This is star water dew, refined by drawing the power of starlight. It has the effect of nourishing and invigorating the mind, and can also slightly increase spiritual power. It's a strong force of life, hiss, this is the essence of life. Look at this quality, it is at least the most precious treasure among the treasures that the soul beast has condensed with its own soul force and vitality for 100,000 years. Dear Antler Heart Element Thousand Year Earth Heart Milk Surprisingly, there is a pair of fire avoiding golden eyed beasts double pupils. Yu Hao, this is a rare good thing for you, you must keep it. The heavenly dream eyes silkworm spoke with countless words, 
and Yu Hao was also dazzled by the dazzling array of rare treasures that he couldn't handle, some of which he hadn't even heard of. Listening to the explanation of the heavenly dream ice silkworm, he understood that any one of these hundreds of treasures placed outside could attract countless soul masters to compete. But with him, it's just one of the many ordinary treasures. Zio Yuheo, we have developed a lot now. Yu Hao also swallowed his saliva, which he did not expect. It was just because of one sentence that Emperor Tian had found so many rare treasures for him. Master, time is running out, and I only have time to find this little thing for you. Could you please give me another day? Emperor Tian, kneeling on one knee on the side, respectfully said that he was not satisfied yet. Upon hearing these words, Yu Hao's eyes twitched and he said, Do you call this a bit? No need, my soul power level is slightly lower now. Even if you find a high dot level treasure, I won't be able to use it now. Yu Hao is right. Even though his body has been strengthened and modified by the power of the Golden Dragon King, he cannot absorb some highly effective treasures. For example, the essence of life, which is the size of a millstone and is rich to the essence, has now been absorbed by Yu Hao and will surely burst him. The Lord is Doluo. No, the first genius in the divine realm. I believe it won't be long before the Lord can return to his peak. Yu Hao is not someone who likes to listen to flattery, but it also depends on who flattered him. Can the flattery of a little Karami be the same as that of an 890,000-year-old soul beast king with semi-divine strength? Yu Hao couldn't help but smile and said, Emperor Tian, you are so smooth. I am sincere and sincere. The emperor's divine emotions are serious, and there is no trace of falsehood. This made Yu Hao couldn't help but be taken aback, then waved his hand and said, All right, I understand. You stay here for now. I still need your help to refine some treasures. I obey your orders. Emperor Tian responded with a nod, still maintaining his previous movements, but then he seemed to remember something and said, Master, I have also collected some soul bones from you. I wonder if you want to absorb them now. Soul bones are much more precious than soul rings, as they can add soul skills and enhance physical fitness. The most important thing is that they don't disappear without being absorbed like soul rings. And it is extremely rare, that is, the most ordinary soul bones need at least millions of gold soul coins to be placed outside. Yu Hao's eyes lit up and he said, Oh. Let me take a look. Upon hearing this, a huge black dragon wing appeared behind Emperor Tian, and soul bones that were regarded as treasures by the outside world fell out of the dragon wing with a clatter. In no time, it accumulated into a small mountain like Soul Bone Mountain, which not only includes normal torso, limbs, and skull soul bones, but also external soul bones that can evolve with the strength of soul masters. Just what Yu Hao saw were the soles of his feet, the tail bones, and wing bones resembling dragon wings. Yu Hao, brother, I underestimated the strength of the starry forest. The stuttering sound of Tianmeng ice silkworm echoed in the sea of spirit. Yu Hao nodded deeply, but upon reflection, the Star Do Forest was one of the three major gathering points for soul beasts on the Dolua continent. Among them, there was Emperor Tian, the strongest soul beast on the continent, possessing resources and treasures that could not be compared to ordinary forces. Heavenly Dream Brother, take a look at these soul bones and see if there's anything I need. There are many, but I think it's best not to absorb your torso, limbs, and skull for now, because most of the piles in front of you are from thousands or thousands of years old. Although there are also those from 100,000 years old, they are not very suitable for you. As the master of soul beasts, you will inevitably be able to obtain higher age and more suitable soul bones in the future, so it is best for you to absorb external soul bones. The heavenly dream ice silkworm is truly a million-year soul beast, and soon analyzed what Yu Hao needs the most now. First, take off the dragon wing soul bone. If you don't expect it, it should be a 20,000-year-old extreme shadow dragon left behind and absorbed. In addition to giving you the ability to fly, it may also come with a super-powerful soul skill. 
And that spine, which should be considered as the trunk bone, but with my brother's presence, you can incorporate the dragon wing's external soul bone when you absorb it, which can at least enhance the quality of the dragon wing's soul bone for nearly 2,000 years. Yu Hao responded with a nod, indicating that there was no problem. Although it would waste a precious torso bone in this way, compared to a small mountain like Soul Bone Mountain, it is certainly a drizzle. After the rain, Emperor Tian asked him to bring over the dragon wing soul bone and the spinal trunk bone, and then asked, Emperor Tian, is it okay for me to absorb the soul bone? Due to natural opposition, soul beasts detest the behavior of soul masters absorbing soul bones. Even many soul beasts will actively launch attacks when they feel the soul bones inside the soul master's body. Upon hearing these words, Emperor Tian couldn't help but be taken aback. Obviously, he didn't expect you how to ask this question. He quickly explained, Your Majesty is joking. Being able to return to your embrace is the supreme honor of us soul beasts. If you agree, I can also voluntarily offer sacrifices and become a part of your strength. As he spoke, Emperor Tian's eyes were burning, looking like a fanatical believer. Um. No, now soul beasts still can't live without you. Yu Hao was somewhat bewildered by the appearance of Emperor Tian, indicating that he underestimated the influence of the Golden Dragon King on these soul beasts. Upon hearing Yu Hao's words, Emperor Tian lowered his head, feeling somewhat disappointed. Seeing this, Yu Hao shook his head and thought to himself. It seems that we can't talk about this topic in the future. If the emperor naively sacrifices, I will lose my biggest bodyguard. Shaking his head, Yu Hao began to communicate with Tianmeng Ice Silkworm again. Heavenly Dream Brother, can I absorb this dragon wing soul bone now? Don't worry, first eat the millennium green crystal grass and change your constitution. However, this thousand-year-old Beijing grass is seven thousand years old and has a powerful medicinal effect. Although your body has become as strong as a level 30 soul master, you still need to be careful. Will I die? You're joking, with my brother around, how could I let you die? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm said very dissatisfied. Then I have no problem. Yu Hao smiled and quickly brought over the millennium old crystal grass. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Soul Power Enhancement, Absorbing External Soul Bones You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Soul Power Enhancement, Absorbing External Soul Bones Tian Meng, How Do You Eat This Beijing Grass? Such precious spiritual medicines require special swallowing methods to maximize their efficacy. Easy, just swallow it directly. I will use my spiritual power to help you eliminate impurities and toxicity. However, I cannot use my own spiritual power source, so I can only use your spiritual power. This may deplete your mental energy, so it's best to take a sip of star water dew first, and when you feel unwell, swallow it to replenish your mental energy. Upon hearing the words of the heavenly dream ice silkworm, Rain Howen nodded slightly, stuffed the thousand-year blue crystal grass into his mouth, and quickly took a big sip full of star water dew. Outside, the stars and dew are priced by drop, while here, there is a full barrel, at least two or three liters. Calm down and concentrate, refine the medicinal power of Beijing grass, and leave everything else to brother. Following the guidance of the heavenly dream ice silkworm, Rain Hao sat cross-legged on the ground and began refining the blue crystal grass. He only felt that after the Beijing grass entered his abdomen, its pure medicinal power transformed into a green energy body like jade, floating in his internal organs and meridians, with a hint of coolness. Control your body and start absorbing this medicinal power. At this moment, a terrifying and domineering force emerged from Yu Hao's bloodline, which was the power of the Golden Dragon King. It was then that it directly devoured the medicinal power of this millennium old crystal grass. Even the heavenly dream ice silkworm didn't realize this, and couldn't help but stare small and wide. Is this refined? Yu Hao has already opened the first seal, absorbing some of the power of the golden dragon king and integrating into his own bloodline. So he cannot be considered a complete human, but a half-human, half-dragon. 
The ability to absorb medicine in this state is not comparable to that of ordinary humans. Is this an advantage? Of course it is an advantage. Rapid absorption of medication can help him save a lot of time. But similarly, the absorption of medicine by the body is originally a long dot term process, gradually absorbing it. Although it takes a long time, the pain is not so severe. But now it's like a sudden burst of intense pain that should have been for a long time, and the pain sensation has increased more than ten times. At the moment Yu Hao felt it, he couldn't help but snort, and the muscles on his face began to twitch continuously. This is also because when Yu Hao opened the seal of the Golden Dragon King before, he had already endured a piercing pain, which greatly increased his ability to endure pain. Otherwise, I will definitely scream out this time. The excruciating pain came and went quickly. After only three to five breaths, the pain disappeared and was replaced by Yu Hao's body, which began to ooze black and foul smelling black substances, which were impurities in his body. This is the process of washing marrow and cutting bones. The medicinal effect of 7,000 year old Bijinkeo is amazing. The process of washing marrow and bone marrow lasted for more than 10 minutes, clearing all impurities in the Yuhao meridians and bone marrow. Yuhao felt like he had lost two or three pounds of weight. Meanwhile, during this process, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm also used spiritual power to expel impurities from Beijing grass. It is a medicine with three parts of poison. If the poison is allowed to remain in the body, it may affect Yu Hao's future achievements. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm will definitely not let this happen. Feeling his head heavy, Yu Hao knew that his mental strength was about to run out, so he quickly swallowed the star dew in his mouth. The star water dew does not need to be refined, as it completely dissolves upon entering the abdomen boosting Yu Hao's spirit and expanding the sea of spirit. About half an hour later, Yu Hao opened his eyes again, and his spiritual eyes and martial souls were spontaneously stimulated. The blue halo that emerged appeared more solid. The increase in spiritual power has greatly enhanced the spiritual eyes. Yu Hao, I didn't expect your strange second martial soul to be so domineering, directly refining the medicinal power of 7,000 years of Beijing grass. The voice of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm rang out again. Yu Hao also gave a bitter smile and said, I didn't expect it either, but it really hurt me just now. Ha ha ha, but we have gained a lot. Just now, you perfectly absorbed all the medicinal power of the millennium-old Beijing grass. Now, all the impurities in your meridians and bone marrow have been completely eliminated and your meridians have also been opened up a lot. And your innate soul power has been fully increased by two levels. Now your soul power level has reached 12 levels, and your spiritual power has also been greatly enhanced. Upon hearing Tianmeng Ice Silkworm's words, a glimmer of joy flashed in Yu Hao's eyes. Can I absorb that external soul bone now? Don't you want to rest, this guy? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm said angrily. Time waits for no one. Yu Hao joked and then prepared to absorb the dragon wing soul bone. You need to be careful. There is a deep resentment of the Jiaying dragon remaining in this dragon wing soul bone, which may have an impact on your spiritual sea. However, with the presence of brother and emperor Tian, there shouldn't be too much problem. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm reminded me. Except for the 100,000 year soul bone, soul bones of other ages will only produce soul bones when the soul beast is extremely happy or resentful. Yu Haoan nodded slightly, sat cross legged on the ground, held the dragon wing soul bone and the other spinal trunk bone in his hand, and then prepared to absorb them. Absorbing soul bones is an extremely painful process, not to mention that what Yu Hao absorbed was an external soul bone that had been attached for up to 20,000 years. But what Yu Hao and Tianmeng Ice Silkworm didn't expect was that when he absorbed the soul bone attached to the dragon wing, he didn't feel any pain. Even Yu Hao felt a joyful emotion in the remaining thoughts in his soul bones. What's going on? Did this Jiaying dragon die in an extremely happy state? No, it shouldn't. When Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was still in a daze, Yu Hao vaguely understood what was going on. 
At the next moment, the sound of dragon chants echoed within Yu Hao's body. Perhaps upon hearing the call of the Golden Dragon King, the dragon wing soul bone transformed into a double winged grey dragon shadow, which was the remaining intention of the extreme shadow dragon. After feeling the power of the Golden Dragon King, the extreme shadow dragon began to eagerly urge the soul bone to merge with Rain Hao. Any dragon spirit beast has a much lower bloodline power than the golden dragon king, so when merging soul bones, Rain Hao will not feel any pain. Moreover, what Emperor Tian said before was not a lie. Being able to become a part of the power of the golden dragon king is the supreme glory of all soul beasts. Stunned, in this way, Yu Hao did not encounter much resistance and successfully fused this external soul bone. However, this is not over yet. After successful fusion, the power of the Golden Dragon King's bloodline will automatically emerge and merge into this newly fused external soul bone. Click, 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 the external soul bone emitted a crisp sound of bone cracking, and then slowly covered with golden light. Emperor Tian outside saw this scene with an envious expression on his face. It is your honor to be transformed by the power of the Lord. That's right, the power of the Golden Dragon King's bloodline is transforming this external soul bone to make it evolve. Yu Hao also felt this and quickly mobilized the power of qi and blood, while allowing the heavenly dream ice silkworm to merge the spine and trunk bones. Accompanied by a dragon chant, a pair of wings reached a span of 10 meters, and the black bone golden dragon wings covered with golden dragon skin spread out on both sides of Yuhao's spine. With a slight fanfare, endless radiance dissipated, fully demonstrating divinity. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Golden Dragon Wings, Shadow Escape Technique, Golden Dragon Flash You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Golden Dragon Wings, Shadow Escape Technique, Golden Dragon Flash Wheezing, Wheezing. Yu Hao's mind moved, and behind him, a pair of golden dragon wings were like arms and fingers. As air his mind slowly fanned, a gust of wind suddenly blew up. Slowly, Yu Hao was carried into mid-air by this pair of golden dragon wings. Free flight gave Yu Hao a different experience, which made him feel very happy. It's unbelievable that these dragon wing soul bones have evolved, and their quality has also reached 30,000 years. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm could naturally feel the changes in dragon wings, and her tone was somewhat surprised. Then he said. Zio Yuhao, what soul skills have these dragon wing soul bones given you? After the evolution of the dragon wing soul bone, Rain Hao knew that it had given him two soul skills in total, but he had not yet had the chance to comprehend them. At this moment, when Tian Meng Ice Silkworm asked, Yu Hao immersed his mind in the dragon wing soul bone. The next moment he rushed towards the ground, and as he was about to crash into the ground, Yu Hao turned into a dark shadow and sneaked into the ground. Xiu Xiu Xiu, the dark shadows transformed by the rain swiftly shuttle on the ground, unable to be obstructed by trees, boulders, or other objects. Heavenly Dream Brother, this is the first soul skill bestowed upon me by Golden Dragon Wing, the Shadow Escape Technique. It can transform into a shadow, travel through any terrain, and is immune to physical damage. Its speed is also faster than normal, but the only drawback is that it cannot be used during flight. Golden Dragon Wings is the name given by Yu Hao to his pair of Dragon Wing Soul Bones. What a powerful soul skill, it can be called a divine defense and escape skill. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm exclaimed, as a million-year soul beast, it naturally knows the value of this soul skill. How about the consumption of soul power? Perhaps the golden dragon wing has evolved, and I don't consume much soul power when using it normally. The cost of casting shadow escape is also very small. With my current soul power, it can last for about 10 minutes. Rain how returned to normal state, estimated. Surprisingly able to last for 10 minutes, it's indeed a miraculous skill. 10 minutes may sound short, but in reality, 10 minutes can be quite long in combat, and Yu Hao won't always maintain his shadow escape state. In addition, Yu Hao's current soul power level is only 12. 
when his soul power level improves, he may be able to maintain the shadow escape technique for a long time. What is the second soul skill? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm asked with some anticipation. Speaking of the second soul skill, Yu Hao's face showed a hint of excitement, because the effect of this second soul skill was even more powerful than shadow escape technique. My second soul skill is called Golden Dragon Flash. As he spoke, Yu Hao's dragon wings spread out and turned into a golden stream of light as he advanced, instantly reaching 10 meters away. To show off and show off, when Rain Hao stopped, his whole body had turned red, like boiling water, emitting bursts of steam. Is this spatial teleportation? Tianmeng Ice Silkworm is amazed and uncertain. No, it's not. Yu Hao shook his head in pain and continued, Golden Dragon Flash is not a teleportation soul skill, but it really makes my speed reach the speed of light. Hiss, there's such a terrifying soul skill. Even the heavenly dream eye silkworm, who only had soul form left, couldn't help but take a deep breath and marvel at the power of the Golden Dragon Flash. The visual effects of light speed movement and spatial teleportation may be the same, but in reality, they are vastly different. Space movement can ignore spatial terrain and cannot be achieved by moving at the speed of light, but in terms of attack, space movement is far inferior to moving at the speed of light. A simple example is that if you have punches while using the speed of light to move, even the most ordinary punch can achieve the same power as Soul Master using the Millennium Soul technique. If the distance is long enough, the power may increase. Of course, the premise is that Yu Hao's physical body can withstand it. However, with his physical fitness as the martial soul of the Golden Dragon King, this is definitely not a problem. It should be terrifying to consume soul power. Such an incredible skill, even if the Dragon Wing soul bone evolves, the soul power consumption will definitely be huge. But Yu Hao shook his head and said, it doesn't consume soul power, but rather the power of qi and blood. You guy, can you stop panting when you talk? The heavenly dream eye silkworm doesn't have a good airway, it really thinks that the golden dragon flash has no consumption. But just thinking about it, if the powerful soul skill of golden dragon flash really has no consumption, wouldn't it be invincible? With your current energy and blood, you can unleash the golden dragon flash a few times. Three times. Yu Hao said with great certainty. Enough. If combined with your current physical body and a powerful soul skill, the trinity can definitely make your attack power reach an incredible level. Upon hearing Tianmeng Ice Silkworm's words, Yu Hao nodded excitedly. The effect of absorbing the Golden Dragon Wing soul bone far exceeded his expectations. Zio Yuheo, you have absorbed 7,000 years worth of Beijing grass and one external soul bone at once, and the energy in your body is almost overflowing. I suggest that in the next few days, besides swallowing star water dew, do not swallow or absorb other heavenly materials and spiritual medicines temporarily to avoid damaging the foundation. Even in the future, don't swallow the spiritual medicine that directly increases your soul power level. The heavenly dream eye silkworm makes a lot of sense, even though it has already helped you how eliminate all the impurities of the millennium blue crystal grass from the body. But if Yu Hao continues to swallow similar spiritual medicines, it will definitely make his body dependent on the spiritual medicine and pill, which is not a good thing. Yu Hao nodded slightly, and he naturally understood that soul power still needed to be cultivated on his own. And after thousands of years of transformation by Beijing grass, his qualifications have undergone earth-shattering changes, and his cultivation speed should be more than twice as fast as before. If all the blocked meridians in his body can be unblocked, his cultivation speed should also increase. Among the hundreds of rare spiritual treasures collected by Emperor Tian, there are naturally treasures that can connect meridians, but the effect is not excellent. Since Yu Hao wants to eat, he naturally wants to eat the highest quality. By dredging the meridians, Yu Hao had already formed an idea in his heart. That is the Chirong Tong Tian chrysanthemum that grows in the eyes of the ice and fire two eyes in the sunset forest. Today, due to the unique effect of the ice and fire two eyes, 
the Chirong Tong Tian chrysanthemum has grown into a 100,000-year-old plant-type soul beast, and there are also five 100,000-year-old plant-type soul beast helpers. Even the title Dolua dare not break into it. What is Ku Yuhao's current identity? He is the master of a million soul beasts in the Star Do Forest, and can be used as a mount by the beast god Emperor Tian. He can sweep through an ice and fire two eyes easily. Moreover, in the eyes of both ice and fire, Yu Hao may have obtained even more precious treasures than these 100,000-year-old elixirs. Thinking of this, Yu Hao felt a surge of excitement in his heart, but for him now, it is still important to cultivate soul power levels. Don't be in a hurry, the eyes of ice and fire will eventually be mine. Yu Hao patted his chest. The ice and fire eyes were originally a natural treasure trove, but Lu gradually became Tang San's own treasure trove. Of course, he wanted to snatch them from the latter's hands. Similarly, there are Chinkuan Wenching Valley and Dragon Valley. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Soul Demon Flame, Don't Raise Books, Dear Readers, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 9 Soul Demon Flame, Don't Raise Books, Dear Readers, Ten Days Later Starry Forest, Core Circle, Forbidden Land A young man is sitting cross-legged here, with his eyes closed and his mind focused. There is only one person who can sit here, and that is Yu Hao. Xiao Qing Yu Hao slowly opened his eyes, a faint blue halo looming in his eyes, and a strong mental wave emanated from it as the center. In an instant, the time flow within a hundred meter range seemed to slow down, and all the scenery information gathered in the young man's mind, with the fragrance of plants and flowers, and the flow of air this is the first soul skill bestowed upon him by the heavenly dream ice silkworm, spiritual detection. Because it has been transformed by the power of the Golden Dragon King's bloodline, combined with the swallowing of 7,000-year-old azure crystal grass and the fusion of the Golden Dragon Wing external soul bone. Nowadays, Yu Hao's physical fitness has already reached the level of level 35 Soul Lord, so he can withstand more of the original power of the Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm. Now his first Soul Ring power has reached 3,000 years. In addition, for the past 10 days, Rain Hao has been swallowing the spiritual water of Star Water Dew every day, which enhances his spiritual power. So, as a result, he is now far beyond his original age, and the four soul skills added to the first soul ring have undergone earth-shattering changes. However, at this moment, Yu Hao is not testing the four soul skills of the first soul ring, but rather testing another ability he has newly acquired. Squeak, squeak. A black mouse the size of a calf appeared in Yu Hao's field of vision. This is a soul beast bloodthirsty ghost mouse. Looking at its back with two ghostly patterns, it is obvious that it has been around for 2,000 years. The bloodthirsty ghost mouse was able to appear here, of course not because it ran over on its own, but because it was specifically caught by Emperor Tian. It's hard to imagine that as the 890,000-year-old golden-eyed black dragon king, he would go and catch mice. But for the sake of Yu Hao, even if it means losing face, Emperor Tian will not hesitate to do it. And the reason why Yu Hao let Emperor Tian capture such a millennium-old soul beast is to test his soul demon flame. In these ten days, although Yu Hao did not swallow any heavenly materials and earthly treasures except for the stars, water, and dew, he, with the help of Emperor Tian, refined the twin pupils of the fire-avoiding golden-eyed beasts. The fire-avoiding golden-eyes beast is an extremely special type of soul beast, possessing two attributes. Flame and Spirit A pair of golden eyes can control fire and also unleash spiritual attacks. As expected by Tianmeng Ice Silkworm, Yu Hao refined these pairs of pupils, not only increasing his eyesight, but perhaps even giving them the power to control fire. But it was never expected that after the refinement of Yu Hao, although his eyesight increased significantly, he did not awaken his ability to control fire. I thought it was Tianmeng Ice Silkworm's inference that was wrong, but by chance, Yu Hao realized that he did not have the power to control fire, but the double pupils of the fire-avoiding golden-eyed beast added flame power to his spiritual power. 
Simply put, if Yu Hao launches a spiritual attack similar to soul shock, the victim will feel a heavy blow to their head or faint directly. But now, it can directly ignite the opponent's spiritual power, making it burn like a flame. This is far beyond ordinary flames, just pain is not a level. Imagine, can flames burning on your arms and inside your brain feel the same? Moreover, spiritual attacks are already more difficult to defend against than ordinary attribute attacks. After awakening this ability, Rain Hao's spirit eyes and martial soul greatly enhanced his spiritual attacks. Yu Hao also named his ability to ignite the opponent's spiritual power, Heart Soul Demon Flame. At this moment, the bloodthirsty ghost mouse looked around anxiously, its eyes filled with panic. Even the low dot level soul beast that grows on the outskirts of the starry forest knows where it is now. Even due to being too panicked, it didn't notice the human teenager in front of it. Hey, look straight at me. Yu Hao let out a low shout, attracting the gaze of the bloodthirsty ghost mouse. Just as the bloodthirsty ghost mouse looked over, its field of vision was filled with a pair of divine blue eyes. Stunned, Yu Hao launched a soul shock, which had a power of 3000 years and instantly broke through the spiritual defense of the bloodthirsty ghost mouse. Squeak. The bloodthirsty ghost mouse let out a scream, its eyes empty, as if its head had been hit by a heavy hammer. But before it could recover, the heart soul demon flame was activated. Boom! The invisible and intangible flames burned in the sea of spirit of the bloodthirsty ghost mouse, causing it crazy pain. Squeak, squeak! The bloodthirsty ghost mouse let out a scream, and its body kept rolling on the ground. The intense pain even made it forget where it was. After about ten breaths, the bloodthirsty ghost mouse finally stopped. However, this is not because the heart soul demon flame has lost its effect, but because this guy passed out due to intense pain. Rain Hao rubbed his brow and launched a soul attack on a soul beast that had been around for 2000 years. The cost was still significant, but it was still within acceptable range. Then he walked towards the bloodthirsty ghost mouse, and after seeing that its seven orifices were bleeding, he muttered to himself. Soul shock combined with heart soul demon flame is powerful enough to kill other soul beasts of 2000 grades, but this guy is too scared and unprepared. The bloodthirsty ghost mouse in front of me has not died, but its soul has suffered great trauma and passed out. Even if it wakes up, without treatment, it may become foolish. It is evident that the spiritual attack power attached by the heart soul demon flame is extremely strong. But Yu Hao was still not satisfied. He wanted to test the power of the heart soul demon flame in real combat. Don't be so cheap and act good. To be honest, I never expected you to have such a terrifying ability by fusing the eyes of the fire avoiding golden eyed beast. The voice of Tian Meng Ice Silkworm rang out in time. If I had obtained this ability in the first place, hum, it would have been a group of soul beasts from the star forest together. What fear would I have? Yu Hao smiled and said, But in this way, Tian Meng, you won't be able to meet me. Um. That's also true. As one person and one silkworm communicated, a black shadow suddenly appeared behind Yu Hao. Master. It is Emperor Tian, in his hands, who still holds two soul beasts that have been around for two thousand years. Taking a glance at these two frightened soul beasts, Yu Haoduan lost the idea of fighting and said, no need, let's put them back. Without the fighting spirit, even if we are strong, we cannot unleash our strength. Yes, sir. Emperor Tian was not at all dissatisfied with Rain Hao, who had made himself busy all day. By the way, take this little guy to Bridget's place and cure it. Yu Hao pointed to the bloodthirsty ghost mouse that had fainted. The Lord is merciful. Emperor Tian immediately flattered. Although he felt in his heart that the life of this bloodthirsty ghost rat was irrelevant, after all, soul beasts were inherently cannibalistic and fought against each other. But when Yu Hao spoke up, he certainly didn't dare not listen. When Emperor Tian took over the bloodthirsty ghost mouse, his expression moved. Hiss, my spiritual power is still burning, 
truly worthy of the Lord. As the king of soul beasts for 890,000 years, he could certainly sense the damage suffered by the bloodthirsty ghost mouse and the power of the heart soul demon flame, even he couldn't help but be surprised. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Bebe, Tangyi you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Bebe, Tangyi after Emperor Tian returned, Yu Hao stood up and said. Emperor Tian, follow me to the outskirts of the forest. I want to find a real opponent to test my current strength. This is the core circle, even if Emperor Tian is not here, there is still a lingering aura of fierce beasts. Not to mention being a thousand-year-old soul beast, even if a thousand-year-old soul beast smells the aura of a fierce beast, it is likely to be scared to death. In this state, it is impossible to fight normally. Yes, sir. Emperor Tian respectfully responded. By the way, you need to restrain your breath later. After all, if the aura of Emperor Tian leaks out, the soul beasts on the outskirts of the Star Do Forest may have feces and urine flowing out. On the outskirts of the Starry Forest. Bebe, it's been a few days now. Why haven't we found a suitable soul beast yet? I'm really angry. Don't worry, I have a premonition. Today we can find the soul beast that suits you. You said the same thing yesterday. The speaker was a pair of young and beautiful young girls, dressed in gorgeous clothes. They looked very young, no more than 15 years old at most. The boy was elegant and handsome, and the girl was fresh and charming. And the two of them are none other than Miubib and Tanya from Shrek College. Due to the arrival of Yuhao, the original history has changed. So Mubebe and Tanya have been wandering around the outskirts of this star forest for several days, but they have never encountered the millennium old mandala snake they should have encountered. While the two were searching for the soul beast, a young man descended from the sky, with a pair of exhilarating black bone golden dragon wings on his back. Coupled with the handsome face of the young man and his pair of deep blue eyes, it exuded nobility and elegance. This young man is none other than Yu Hao, who naturally emerged from the core circle. Bebe and Tanya were startled by the sudden arrival of Rain Hao, but were immediately attracted by the golden dragon wing behind him. Both of them are high-achieving students from Shrek College, so they can naturally recognize this as the most precious soul bone, which is attached externally. Among them, Bebe also felt a sense of oppression on this pair of golden dragon wings, which came from the pressure of his bloodline. Xiaoya, step back. Bebe pulled Tanya behind him, and at the same time, a blue light lit up from his eyebrows, then spread to his whole body. The sound of his Razla electric current echoed through Bebe's body, and in an instant, Bebe's whole body was surrounded by blue lightning. Immediately after, the sleeve of Bebe's right arm also shattered due to the rapid expansion of his arm, and a dragon arm covered in blue and purple scales, with its palm turned into a ferocious dragon claw, appeared in front of Yu Hao. It looks similar to Yu Hao's golden dragon arm, except for a different color, which is still quite small. This is the first beast soul of Dolua continent, the blue electric Tyrannosaurus rex. Similarly, a blue long vine also emerged from Tanya's hand behind, with a blue silver grass martial soul. Seeing the martial souls, age, and appearance of these two people, Yu Haoduan recognized their identities, which made his face show a hint of surprise, originally, Yu Hao just wanted to find a few soul masters to fight and compete with, after all, there are still many soul masters on the outskirts of the star forest. I didn't expect to encounter two important figures, Mu Bebe and Tanya. Then, Yu Hao's face turned happy again, and there was something he wanted in the hands of the two in front of him. What kind of person is your excellency? My name is Mubib and I come from Shrek College. If I offend your excellency, we will leave now. Bebe looked at Yu Hao with burning eyes, and at the same time, three soul rings, two yellow and one purple, appeared on his right arm, indicating that he was a soul master above level 30. Bebe, what are you afraid of? This little guy is so small, his soul power level must not exceed level 20. After the initial panic, Tanya behind him has now calmed down. 
After all, Yu Hao's face looks several years younger than theirs, which means the external soul bone behind him is somewhat terrifying. But Bei Bei quietly shook his hand at Tanya, indicating that she didn't say much, because as he aroused his martial soul, the sense of oppression from his bloodline became stronger and stronger, even giving Bei Bei the idea of surrendering to the young man in front of him. Susu. Suddenly, Bei Bei and Tanya only felt a flash in their eyes. When they looked again, they found a tall and slender figure behind the young man in front of them. It is Emperor Tian. Although Emperor Tian controlled not to emit any of his own aura, the pressure of the soul beasts alone made Bei Bei and Tanya gasp for breath. Faced with Emperor Tian, they were like facing an irresistible natural enemy, with their throats choked by an unknown force. The former only needed a glance to instantly kill both of them. And just as the two were about to lose control, Yu Hao gently raised his hand, and Emperor Tian instantly dissipated his pressure. In an instant, Bei Bei and Tanya felt the oxygen again. Breathing and wheezing. The two of them were panting heavily and it took them a while to recover. Are you two people from the Tang clan? Yu Hao didn't have time to talk nonsense with the two of them and went straight in. How are you? Tanya wanted to talk more, but was directly silenced by Bei Bei. That is to say, Tanya is behind. If she were in front, she would definitely be able to see Bei Bei's pale face and sweating profusely, as if she had been seriously ill. That's right, we are indeed members of the Tang sect. Do you have any guidance? Bei Bei held on to her spirit and didn't let herself show any fear. You and I have a fight. If you win, you can leave. If you lose, you can keep the Tang sect's unique skills here. Yu Hao said with a calm expression. The Tang clan is stubborn and self-proclaimed, and has long been eliminated by soul guides. But its six ultimate skills still have their own uniqueness. Especially the purple extreme demon eyes are very compatible with Yu Hao's spiritual eyes and martial soul. Yu Hao had planned to master Tang Sek's unique skills in a while, but unexpectedly, he accidentally stumbled upon Bei Bei and Tanya in advance. Impossible. Tanya naturally wouldn't agree. They all said it was a unique skill of the Tang sect, how could it be passed down to outsiders? Regarding this, Yu Hao's expression remained unchanged and he said calmly. Since you don't agree, then go to hell. The unique skills of the Tang clan have always been in Tanya's soul guide. Even if the two of them died, Yu Hao could still obtain them. For Tanya, a brainless woman who lacks strength, intelligence, and confidence, and always talks about reviving the Tang clan but can't do anything, Yu Hao has no good impression. But Bei Bei is still very good, and he was able to enter Shrek College thanks to his care. That's why Yu Hao proposed this condition. Just as Yu Hao's words fell, the emperor behind him took a step forward in the sky, and the dark aura slowly dissipated. For a moment, the soul beasts in a radius of one kilometer suddenly scattered and fled, while Bei Bei and Tanya, who were directly opposite, also had weak legs and knelt down on the ground. Title Doluo. Or even more powerful Super Doluo. Tanya felt anxious and uneasy in his heart, while Bei Bei beside him was even more frightened, because the man in front of him emitted an aura even stronger than his Xuanzu. Xiaoyao. Under the threat of death, coupled with Bei Bei beside her, Tanya struggled on her face, but ultimately lifted her head and said. Okay, I promise, I promise to give you the unique skills of Tang Men. Tomorrow, we will test the water. Brothers awesome, brothers awesome, young writers have power. Collect more, read more, and don't raise books. Thank you. End of this chapter.